Hello everyone, this is Xanthus coming at you with a tutorial on advanced time traveling techniques. Basically, time traveling is a way to manipulate your device in order to receive benefits such as unlimited energy, unlimited sending of gifts and visiting, unlimited daily bonuses, unlimited tools, strength, collection items, experience points, you name it. There's so many different benefits, so I'm going to go through each and every one of them. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to send unlimited gifts. So we're going to go visit Mrs. Murph and send her a gift. Here you'll notice on her wish list she has five elements. As you know, you can only send one element per friend per day, up to 50 friends. And if there's collection items, you could send uh, 10 collection items from your own inventory. Um, you could parse them out as uh, much as you want to anybody, but again, 10 per day. We want to change that. We want to give people as many gifts as we want. I'm just going to give Mrs. Murph her entire wish list, so let's start with the teapot. So once that is done, we go back to the stage here. We're going to go to Settings, General, Date and Time, and we're going to set automatically to the off position. And here's his August 28th, today's date. We're going to go back to the 27th, which was yesterday. Go back to the game, and when we go back, you'll see that I can send another gift, and let's do it. Now, you want to go, always go back, never forward, because that will mess up some uh, apps that may uh, also deal with time. Continue on our way. You can go forward, um, but it's a big risk. Uh, I'll teach you how to reset your timers if they're off in that case. And for the last one, we're just going to set automatically back to the on position to uh, send a last gift. You'll get this screen every single time you go back to today's day. Send gifts. And there's the last one. And that's how you gift people multiple times. In this segment, I'll be teaching you how to get a bunch of reputation points through uh, time travel, and that's going to involve visiting. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to visit Mrs. Murph once again. And what I'm going to do is, it says here that I have zero, right? Go out, go back to date and time, set automatically to opposition, and then just pick a random date in the past. So let's go to August 10th. Go back in the game, then go back out to date and time, then go forward. And gift again. Or not gift again. <laughs> visit again, sorry. And uh, you can just even stick on the same person. And uh, rack up those reputation points really quickly this way. Um... I would just do this right here for a short amount of time. Um, obviously, time is up to you. And, you know, obviously you don't want to just stick to one person. Um, unless you're just doing it, you know, just quickly like I'm doing now. But, yeah, I mean, visit all the people that you want. And then uh, continue to visit them. You know... 15 times a day if you wanted to.
get lovely stuff. Look at all that stuff popping in there. So in no time flat, you can uh, get to the next reputation level. And, uh, you know, it's quite easy and fast. All right, there you go. This next segment shows you how to get unlimited visitor bonuses. Let's visit Mrs. Murph once again. Here you have the visitor bonus. You have visited a friend, you get a bonus for this. You will be able to visit your friend again tomorrow. Be sure to come back and these are the things you get. Today we get the bonuses from 78 friends. Uh, that number is associated with your re um, reputation level. Uh, mine is 79, so for 79 friends I get a visitor bonus, which is basically 100 experience points, some coins, and a paid room item. Here in this case, Ladybug. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, collect the items. And each time you visit someone, obviously that number will go down. So let's get out. What you want to do is go back to date and time, set automatically back to off position, go back one day, go back to the game, go back out really quickly, set automatically back to the on position, go back into the game, and you know, wait until this goes through. Visit once again, and it should say 78. Yep, you get bonus for 78 friends. So basically, go throughout all your friends, and when you hit zero, do that trick, and you'll get the visiting bonuses again. It refills, and you just uh, continue on to visit all your friends. So if you have like a thousand friends, you get a thousand daily bonuses. So, quite neat, right? All right. This next time traveling tip is really important if you want to advance well into the game. This one will basically allow you to get unlimited collection items, unlimited uh, energy to play, unlimited strength to visit, Unlimited paid scene items if you have the Pyramid of the Orb. Unlimited experience points and basically unlimited tools. Um, depending on how much you know you want. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on any of the desktop awards. Let's uh, click the Pyramid for instance. And it says here you get this award in 9 hours, 39 minutes, 53 seconds. That's important. You need to click on one of those top awards first. All right. So what we're gonna do is just keep it on the screen here, and we're gonna go to date and time, set automatically back to the off position, and we're just gonna pick a random date in the past. It doesn't really matter at this point. Okay, June twenty ninth. Go back. And just unclick that, and you know, just click it again, whatever. It should read the same thing, basically, as if no time has passed, even though you're on a separate date. And uh, just go forward one day, and the game thinks that a day has passed, and all your awards are responsible. So uh, here's a collection item. There's some energy, strength, uh, fireflies. A token, some experience points, and a tool. And, uh, you know, just keep going as much as you want. And you'll collect a whole bunch of those. Trust me, I have thousands of those. And uh, just click what you need quickly. And, uh, yeah, just uh, do this until you get sick or your head spins.
see? And that's a good way to get, you know, items for the paid scenes, especially. Or collection items that you need. You notice that I'm not really picking the uh, energy or reputation points because, as you can see, I have uh, 756,000 energy. I'm not going to run out anytime soon, and uh, I don't need to keep spamming myself, but I definitely like uh, all the other benefits. So, yeah, uh, you know, when you're done... Let's say, like, I'm done now, for instance. I'm just, you know, showing you what to do. Just set automatically back on, and you'll go to today's regular date. Go back. You know, it gives you even, you know, money, too. And right here, at this scene here, just uh, X out, because if you, you know, if you accidentally restore, it'll cost you five uh, crystals. You don't want that. And, you know, just to collect all the awards again. And uh, I guess I could show you some stuff here, for instance. <clears throat> Let's go to Collections. I'm going to go to the end, and we'll go to the uh, newest updates. So, for instance, like, look at all these items I have here. You know, a lot of this is through time traveling and, of course, generous friends. But, like, right here, but these items cannot be gifted. Um, see, I have several of each items. I've already gotten ten of asparagus. And eight of this, ten of that. Six of these. And nine of those. So, obviously, you want to do this if, uh... If you want all the items, you can even do this during timed events. Just be very, very careful. You just do not go in the future. And um, when it's timed events, you want to go forward day by day all the way up to, <clears throat> you know, all the way up to um, the current date. You don't want to set automatically uh, back on until you are... On the current date. If you jump ahead, that could affect the event timer and completely wipe it out. So be extremely careful when you're time traveling during those times or just do not time travel at all. Um, if you're worried about losing your timer. I've known many people who time travel during uh, timed events and have lost their timers because they weren't careful. Um... And even when they are careful, it may happen, so just mind that. And, um, show you some of these here. For the paid scene items, if you have the orb and you have the uh, pyramid, you'll get lots and lots of paid uh, you know, scene items. I have over a hundred thousand fireflies, ninety-four thousand carrots, and uh, ninety-one thousand ladybugs. Um, and eighty-seven thousand uh, cupid arrows. So I've not had uh, the need for anyone to send me them. I could just farm them. Uh, through time travel and uh, right now the current update had observation deck which uh, needs tokens and I've been grinding tokens for a long time and right now I am at 75% professor and my goal is to get to 100 and to do that I time travel and collect them from the orb and the pyramid so if you don't have them, the uh, pyramid is from the Christmas update, and the sphere is from the Halloween update. I recommend that you re try really hard to get those. That will help you out immensely in the future. For this next one, I'm going to show you how to 
reset your timers if they're off. Uh, for instance, right here, it says I'm on uh, the correct date, right? But I go here, let's check one of the awards. Oh, look at this. It says 203 hours, 27 minutes late. So here, obviously, the time is messed up. And you don't want to go forward to correct the time. So what you want to do is you want to go back in time. So let's do OK. Let's uh, set automatically back to off. And um, go back 203 hours. I'm not sure exactly what that is. So I'm just going to, uh, let's say let's go to uh, July 20th. That should be enough time, right? Uh, click once again and then this time set automatically back on and then everything is restored right click back on it's the correct time so that's how you fix that problem